Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am playing Disc Creatures, an another monster taming game. So here's the opening for it. Also, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this and Retro Games Guide or Retro Game Guides and gameplay. So let's see how the opening looks. Well, it looks like a soul rock, but I like the art so far. Okay. Also, before we go any further, if you want to get a game, if you're in the market for a game, you want to help charity, you want to support this channel, then go to nicksonar.com forward slash humble bundle. You'll be taken to hum, humble, uh, humble bundle, sorry about that, and they are all about helping charity. And if you go through my link in the description below, then I also get a part of that to no extra cost to you. So let's get this started. Living things can be both charming and dangerous. Not just in your world, but in ours as well. What's your name? Um. Okay, so it uses those. Okay, I'm getting used to the controls. Oh man, this this fits just perfectly. Well, that's not matters. Okay, retro retro games HQ. Does that look right? Yup. Sorry about the frames per second up top left. I'll get that off um, next episode. <laughs> Okay. Do something, man. Get out. Oh, my God. Look how fast he's moving. You picked up your disc R application and submission fee. Time to take this down to town hall. I'm just doing crap. Retro Games HQ booted up the PC. But we can't remember. Right. Shut down. Okay. TV these days are super thin. Or paper thin. As you can tell from this angle. <laughs> Oh, okay. Who knows what's on this mess of a bookshelf anymore? Well, shiny dresser, uh, like this must be full of riches. Doubtful. All right. She's too focused on what's TV on what's what's on TV. I can't speak today. Oh, it's the creature hunter tracking these uh, tracking down some mysterious creature today. Righto. So here we are on the frostbitten summit of Mount Azel. In pursuit of an elusive creature known as a Fengon. Let's jump right into it. Uh, right, let's just jump right on in and then see if we can't find this fella. Also, I am streaming off another computer. Uh, so that's why... <coughs> Bounce on her bed. So that's why sometimes you're going to see that in the bottom. So, don't worry about it. It's just it's easier on OBS. So we're getting to see the world. Okay. Head east and take your application to the town hall. Hmm. I like this little town so far. I'm going to explore a little bit. I like the houses. So, Lyceum Town. This town is just right for creatures like me. Ooh. Hmm. Does he just speak? Nobody. So, creatures can speak, but yet somehow I can tame them? What the heck? Okay, well, let's talk to some other people. You might come across some ferocious creatures while wandering in the woods or exploring caves. Don't get the wrong impression. Not all creatures are like that. They come in all sorts, just like us. Okay. Hmm. I don't like this. What? Little kid. Little kid. Creatures are so cool. Sometimes me and my sis sneak out into the woods and go see all the creatures out there. But hey, please don't tell my mom. Oh, I'm quite fond of creatures myself. I'm just worried about having one uh, one around my baby girl. Oh, it's just a creature plushie. I've spotted my kids sneaking off into the jungling, or juggling woods to play. Rumors say the scarecrows out that way start attacking people at night, so I've warned them to stay away, but... How about staying awake? I want to get a pet creature like our neighbor has someday. 
probably Japanese and that they are leaving their shoes at the store and uh, at the door, not the store. Okay. Police man. Mm hmm. Of course, I'm sure some oh, people. Some people are like, what are you talking about? You don't freaking leave your. You don't leave your uh, shoes at the door, no. I don't track mud in. Yo, are you disc? Are you a discar? Disker? God dang. If so, you should head west and check out the disc cafe. They've got all sorts of stuff for just for discars. Welcome. We're your friendly neighborhood. Uh, clean, uh, yeah, cleaners. The clean uppers. We've had some pesky creatures spreading poisonous goo around town lately. The faster we clean it up, the faster it gets dirty again, and I really wish we could figure out why. If they could just find the culprit, we'd be through with this, but no one has the slightest clue. We're in quite the pickle here. That noxious glue, uh, goo is creeping closer and closer to Town Hall. Those are teeth. Those are freaking teeth creatures. Ah, I see. Should have just looked. So, Talon Bolton Board. All right. You know what? Let's get to it. I guarantee you. Um, oh. The clock tower was built to look like a giant flare. It looks almost good enough to eat, does it? Okay. What a strange looking clock tower. When grass, earth, and water unite, the, uh, the flowers shall bloom with pride. Okay. There's a cop. Oh. Here for your disker uh, registration. I'll take your application if you got everything in order. Retro Games HQ handed over the application. Okay, then Retro Games HQ is it? Uh, looks like you're all set. I'm Specs. I'm in charge of Disker uh, registration here at the town hall. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Specs. Now then. Also, it looks like Boba Fett. Or one of the Mandalorians. I hereby proclaim you a licensed Discar. As you probably know, Disker is short for Disc Ranger. Hmm. As a Disker, you may now be friend and command the many different creatures that fill our world. Of course, just because you're Disker now doesn't mean you suddenly stand a chance against a wild creature. So what we do here is hand out these. Oh my god. Kind of like a, you know, Game Boy. Bad. This device is called a Disk Kid. Use this to read and install creature data. All Discars are Diskers. Command these creatures using one of these devices. Here you are, Retro Games HQ. This is your very own disc kid. Now, proudly, uh, Game Boy, did, you know, kid, whatever. Now, proudly step forward and begin your new life as an officially licensed disker. Retro Games got disc kid. It's a little clunkier than you think. How do people fit these in their pockets? Yeah. You can now press back to open up the menu at any time. Okie dokie, Retro Games HQ. Uh, that disc kid right there has a fresh new drive in it. Until you load it up with some creature data, you won't be able to command any. But here at Town Hall, we offer all new discers free starter discs. Boot these discs up on a PC to install the creature data to your disc kid for you to use whenever you want. Uh, so we have five discs available here, and you can choose whatever three you want. The creatures you pick will be your first companions on your journey as a disker. Each one is a rare type, so make sure you think about it carefully. Move the arrow. Press confirm to select. Oh yeah, I gotta use... Flame orb. Are you hearing this? Okay, so you got... Crenton. Centipion. Ooh. Electring. Blade Gooin. Penguin, Blade Ewing, Flame Orb. Now, hmm, I like the looks of, the only one I don't like the look of is that one, but I see what it's supposed to be. It's a weird freaky thing, reminds me of the Mario enemy. So, Flame Orb, always like fire types. Yeah. Yeah. Always like electric. I like water and electric too, but 
This is looking like a ground type, but I don't like the centipede on thing. Scorpion and centipede. Crenaton. Um, that looks like kind of turned out cool, but Electring looks a little bit like Magnemite in a sense. Um, of course, I'm thinking Magnezone more so. <sighs> I like paint plate blade you and I like Empoleon, but it's not the, my favorite. I think what these could possibly turn out to be. And I'll pick. Eh, I want to see. Uh huh. I just want to see the looking. Uh, man, this moves way too fast. It's like Doo -doo -doo. you barely press once, you go down two. Hmm. Dude looks cooler here. I'll get him. I hate, 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 hate that I have to choose out of these five. Not that they're bad, but I always hate these decisions. I'll say I like Pokemon Yellow a little bit. <laughs> Blade Gewen. He'd be looking cool. Hmm. No. I'll do every odd. Yep. Yes. Got an electroring disc. Okay. Specs. Here are your three discs then. Hook your disc kit up to a PC and you'll gain access to the disc net. Upload the data from your disc to the disc, disc or net and you'll be able to install the corresponding creature. You can manage your discs from the PCs at any disc cafe. But if you have your own PC at home, why not try it out there first? Once you've managed to install them, come and report back to me here. Okay. So I got nobody. Got nobody. So this is my menu. Um, I can, of course, go ahead and save it here again. Go ahead and talk to these folks. Uh, you can't just go burning copies of other discers creatures, you know? If you want a new creature disc, you gotta burn a copy while battling a wild one. Uh, you can teach a creature up to four moves. Be sure to check what moves you have to choose from whenever you level up. My friend told me you can get something here if you collect lots of creatures. I have a feeling it's something. You know, one idea I would like... Let's, let's go back home. One idea I would like, um, honestly... Oh, move, buddy. Uh, is the idea of every level you get the chance to learn a new move. Maybe it's a slightly modified one. Or maybe you don't have a skill tree... But you have like diverging moves, you know? So maybe like you have one that could be called like, um, I don't know, Shock or something, you know? Maybe, I know I'm kind of going with what Pokemon has in mind, but I'm just trying to think. Or, um, you know, ma imagine like, uh, I don't know. Mm, I don't know, just think Shock. And then think if at level 6 you get to put it up to like Jolt. But if you wait till like level nine, then what the option will come up is another, you know. But if you choose to go that, I don't know. It's just I would like the idea of, or maybe like, um, let's go to our PC. Or maybe, uh, you know, each level you get like, maybe not necessarily better attack, but you can choose. You know, maybe there's three to choose from or something, or I don't know. Uh, you know, kind of like a skill tree, but in a move. You know, set kind of deal. Uh, retro games, HQ. Hook the disc kit up to the PC. Disc or net. Logging on to this disc or net. Access. Okay. Identifying user. Logging in as Retro Games HQ. Greetings, Retro Games HQ. Here on the disc or net, you can manage data for all of your creatures. On the disc or net, you can boot up creature discs to increase the number of creatures you own. You can also switch out the creatures you want to keep on your team, as well as change up their moves. No creature data found. Please start by inserting any discs you may have. Move the cursor to page 1 and then press the confirm button. Mm. Yep. 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 Bada bing. Yep. Yes. No, back. Yep. This creature will automatically be placed in it for you. Go ahead and finish installing the rest of the discs. Thank you for getting out of my way. I love that. Electring, yes. 
Okay. Dang it, start me off close to the okay. Go ahead and finish and stop. Well, stop. Let me do it. Number five, Krenaton. Yep. So, Electrain, Flame Orb, and Krenaton. Successfully installed Krenaton. No. Thank you. You have now created your very first creature team. Now, let's go over your creature moves. Select the creature's icon and choose Manage. Manage. Use this page to switch out creatures on your team and change their moves. Would you like to start the move change tutorial? Yes, let's try. Choose a creature icon and select Moves. Okay. Krenton, level 3. This creature is already on your team. Moves. From this page, you can change your creature's moves. Shift the arrow to an icon to display its move name and effect. So this is basic damage, 100 accuracy, or E. Two damage, or E cost, two. All moves that deal damage have types. The amount of damage a move deals is based on its type versus an enemy's type. There are 12 different move types. Basic, flame, water, electric, earth, Grass, Stone, Wind, Ice, Magic, Spirit, and Steel. Moves marked by that are currently equipped on the creature. During battle, you can only use the moves that, are the, that the creature has equipped. Note that each creature can only equip four moves at a time. Select an equipped move to unequip it. Be sure to try different moves in order to maximize your advantage in battles. By leveling up and meeting certain conditions, and your creatures will learn even more moves. That concludes the tutorial. When you're finished, please press the back button and select back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, three. Might as well choose another. It's 15%. Can't use consecutively. So, let's go grass top. Um, it's one of three enemies randomly. It's a five cost. Boost Sluck and recover some energy. That's a lot. Rest, power down. Whoa. Hmm. You know what? There we go. So we got these four. Attack, Blast, Defend, and Artillery Seeds. So let's go on ahead and back. Let's back. Finish equipping your moves. Press the back button and select back to return to the previous screen. That concludes the moves overview. Please feel free to change the moves of your other creatures as well. Go out there and find discs for all sorts of creatures, then install them here on the Discernet. So let's go ahead and manage. Yeah. So HP 73, power 42, men 42. I don't know what men is. Um, speed 48, guard 40, bar 40? What? 40? What the heck? Uh. Okay. So attack. Blast, defend. And you got intimidate and dash attack. Attacks first. Sure, why not? All right. So men's forty two, is power's forty two. Back. Of course, you can just press the back button twice and it gets to it. So sixty six, thirty six, fifty two, fifty on oh, no, the M. So then you got Bolus, sometimes inflicts confusion, and boosts barrier and recovers some energy. I might as well try Sound Wave. Going back, going back. All right, let's get some more. These are your creatures on your team. Uh, you can favorite your most beloved creatures on the VIP page. This makes it so much easier to switch your favorite creatures in and out of your team. Be sure to check that page out. Press close, or open a menu and select close. No, I'm just keep pressing the back button. Virtual Games HQ shut down the PC. Alright then. Caw! Caw -caw! Seems like it has something for you. Transceiver. The transceiver was added to your key items. Caw -caw! Okay, buddy. Let's see what the transceiver does. Key items. Try it out whenever you're lost or su stuck. Okay. Is someone going to give me some, um, do I have to have discs? 
Okay, well, let me see them all. Let's see if the transceiver works. First, open up the menu. Then go to the key section of the item list and select the transceiver. Hey, Retro Games. Uh, ring me on the transceiver and I'll remind you of what you should be focusing on. So if you ever feel lost, just give me a buzz. Okay, so you managed to install your very first creatures. Next, you should head back to the Town Hall and talk to Specs again. The Town Hall is on the eastern side of Lyceum Town. Powered off the transceiver. Okay. Boop, doop, boom. Oh, what's this dude? Freaking squirrel. The police force. They keep us safe. Yep. No unsavory sorts of creatures here. Nope. Not in Lyceum Town. Lyceum Town. Nope, nope. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, you're now free to make a name for yourself as a disker with these creatures by your side. Or you could head out and collect all sorts of other creatures instead. Whatever you decide to do, make sure you and your creatures all enjoy yourselves. But one more thing, Retro Games HQ. This is something I make sure to tell every new disker. Creatures are incredible beings. The reason we humans can live the lives we all he uh, have today is thanks to them. We could never have come this far without their help. But while they're capable of many great and wonderful things, they also possess dangerous powers. And now that you're armed with that disc kid, you will be in control of those powers. I hope that you and all your other discers out in the world will act responsibly and use your disc kids only for the greater good. Right then, sorry to lecture you like that. Uh, is there anything in particular you would like to get started on now that uh, you're an official disker, Retro Games? If you don't have anything in mind at the moment, I would suggest you go take a look at the bulletin board set up just outside of Town Hall. People in the town often post requests when they need help from discers. We would all appreciate it if you could lend them a helping hand. Okay, there we go. Yep, already been there. Mm hmm, mm hmm. There's a discard wanted and posted ad here, or posted here. <laughs> Looking for a disker to help investigate. There have been all sorts of wild rumors flying around about pecan forest. See, there's an abandoned little hut deep in the woods. And lately the kids in town have been treating it like it's some sort of haunted house. They say anyone who dares draw near it returns with no memory of what happened. Is this really the work of some supernatural being? Or is there something else going on out there? Are any diskers brave enough to find out? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, there's apparently episodes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay, I guess go to the right. Talk to this little dude. We brush in the morning, we brush in the evening, and we're still up to brush your teeth in this junk gunk, whatever. I'm sick of it. All this. Bam. Bam. Montano. Piss the port waits the far end. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Ah, oh, shoot. Look at this mess by the tunnel. How am I going to get to piss the port now? Walk over? I don't know. This clock tower was built to look like a giant flower. I've already talked to this dude, and I forgot all about it. Oh, that's mine. But if you also press backspace, you get to your menu. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, this way, apparently. Okay. You can heal your creatures, buy items, and do all sorts of stuff at the disc cafe. Now, how's that for service? Don't be surprised. You lived here your whole life. You've seen it. Come on. Boom. Okay, there's a PC. Hey there, welcome. Here at the Disc Cafe, we do everything we can support discers like you. You can hand over your disc kid if you would like us to refresh your creatures and bring them back to full HP. Feel free to use the PC to your right there to manage your creature data and do whatever else you'd like. Everything here is done at no cost to you, so don't worry about a thing. Would you like to heal your creatures? Sure, we might as well see the animation. Okay. So that's their 
a healing thing. Hey there, we sell all sorts of neat things. Any discourse should have. Boost chance of burning a creature's data to disc. May use up to five at once. I don't understand. Boost chance of burning a creature's data to disc. I think until I understand this a little bit better. Yeah. Hey kid, do you know about creature skills? No. Okay, see, every creature has its own special skill. Take the Mia Mix out in Pecan Forest, for instance. They have this skill called Camouflage. It makes it easier for uh, them to evade incoming attacks for the very first round of the battle. There are all sorts of other skills that make creatures strong against certain types or even immune to certain errors. Skill effects normally last for the whole battle, but some errors can override their effects. You can check your creature skills from the Equip tab. I don't know what the Equip tab is. There it is. So we have Skill Glow prevents dark errors. Okay. Charge. Using E-Charge buffs, uh, electric, uh, using E-Charge buffs, electric buffs, sorry, <laughs> uh, strength for the following round. Equip. Sometimes reduces damage taken. That ain't bad. I'm gonna skip that dude. Alright, let's go. Where else do we go now? See all this stuff below us? Is there anywhere we can go? Not going back home. Apparently my mom couldn't care less. Up north. Cool. Whoa. Get ready for the next big thing to hit Disco World. No trespassing. Okay. What's this big building supposed to be? I mean, I'm not a Disker, so I don't really care or anything. But what is it? Okay. You aren't forgetting to save, right? You can save from the menu. It's no hassle at all. All right. Off to peek on Forcer. Let's see. You got your some cre you got some creatures loaded up in your disc kit, yes? Looks like you're ready to go. Wait, you still haven't tried your creatures out in battle yet? Alrighty, then let me show you the ropes. Battelle appeared. Okay. First things first, select fight, then moves, then pick whichever one you want to use. Okay. Fight. Moves. It costs two. Okay. Blast. Batel. E charge. Artillery seeds. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, so each charge really does make it go up to 40. Okay. Round two. Let's go over the creature's gauges, too. See how both of our, of our creatures have green and yellow gauges. The green ones are creatures HP. As they take damage, this will decrease. And when it runs out, your creature will crash and be unable to battle. What you've taken down some of your opponent's you taken down some of your opponent's green gauges, you win. Now that yellow gauge there shows the creature's energy level. Creatures need some level uh, energy to use their moves. Once it's all gone, they'll be stuck without any way to fight. Don't worry, though. That's why you ha we have an E-Charge on the menu. Use E-Charge to replenish a creature's energy. Something to keep in mind when charging, though. If you take a hit in a round when you use an E-Charge, it will automatically become a crit. So if you just go around charging all willy-nilly, you'll be in for a world of pain. But that also means if you can land a hit while your opponent's charging, you'll be m that much closer to victory. Okay, then, I'm going to have my creatures E-Charge, so have your creatures attack. Okay. Attack. Sound wave. Artillery. Okay. Bam. Bam. Ooh, 80. You won the battle. Earn 21 EXP. Your creatures gained EXP. Now that you've got what it takes to battle, energy levels always return to normal once the battle's over. But HP won't, so make sure you get back to this cafe to heal every so often. Alrighty then, 
Just a little present from your from yours truly. So I got a Battle Disc. Okay. Boot that disc up and you'll have yourself a brand new creature to use. Install that Battle Disc on a PC and you'll be able to add it to your team. If you don't know how to switch out the creatures on your team, just let me know. Righty then, you're free to head into battle or head into the Pecan Force now. All right. Let's get into it. Oh. Pecan Force is full of wild, wild creatures. If you bump into one, you'd best be ready to battle. On top of that, you've got to be wary of other discers in the area who might be itching to spar. If you find yourself in a pinch, make sure to head to one of the blue refresh terminals. Here. If you find yourself in a pinch and you don't think you can win, but you can't run away either, use this. I Surrender. I Surrender is an item that you can use in battle. You'll automatically lose any battle you're in when you use it. If a battle ever drags on too long and you've just had enough, try it out. Oh, and the Pecan Forest. Alright. Sometimes you might score enough data to burn a wild creature to a disc just by beating them in battle. But if you use some high speed memory, you'll have a much better chance of getting the discs you want. It's easier to use too. Just open up your items menu while you're in battle and choose a high speed memory. Normally, you'd be able to just you'd be able to just ahead here and walk a little village. But that was when there was still a bridge. Apparently it broke when an enormously large creature tried to walk across. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let me fill you on something, newbie. People out and about in the woods here, like me, we're discers, looking for any excuse to battle. So you and me, we're just gonna do we're gonna do just that. Tamati. Round one. Moves. Left side. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see. Bam. Bam. Bada bing. Okay. Lucky, lucky. Okay, fight. Moves. Blast. Moves. Blast. Blast. Okay. Okay. There we go. When E, luck went up. Okay. Let's see, moves. Blast. Moves. Basic damage. Blast. And blast. You won the battle. Earned 24 EXP. Awesome. Sure know your discs. Here, you can have this. High speed memory. Okay, let's battle this thing. Oh, uh, Tamati. Okay. I want to see. Okay, so I don't necessarily have any discs, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Ow. I heard. I want to see how that goes. Okay. And I want to see how all those stack up. Okay. Hurt horribly. Hurt horribly. Hurt a small bit. Cover to one E. Okay, just spamming that. Bam. Okay. You won the battle. Earned 4 XP. Acquired a Tamati disc. Awesome. Okay. Let's keep going. Hope this is Tamati. Ooh. Miamic. Okay. Don't know what exactly will be good against that so let's go ahead and get I'm gonna get this out of the way 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you tag me. Okay. So this is kind of an interesting little um, way to battle. You know, very basic, but that's fine. It's it, it's a very interesting way for it to battle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. This is going to be my amix gone so is he i'm going to figure out what means what when it comes to like the stats you know and all that i really don't understand it yet i'm gonna learn this as we go along acquired a tomati disc acquired a mayamic disc it's acquired a tomati disc okay i don't understand the point of having multiple it's a lot can I sell them? So Tomati and Mayimic. Alright. Moves. Damage D. Be higher. Same damage. Artillery seeds. Dash attack. Hit. Okay. Down. Almost down. Okay, he attacked. Dagum. One round. Mamic disc. Okay. Almost. Denumbin. Okay, that's apparently a guy. Hold it right there. I've got something here you might just like, but you've got to beat me in a battle first. A Mamic Tamati Devi hat. Okay. It's fine. Moves. Attack. Don't like the Devi hat. Don't like the Devi hat. And I'll, I'll to artillery shell it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spirit. Okay. Hinder. Graniton lost one E. Camouflage is off. Done. Done. One more hour artillery shells. This should end it. So there goes Devi Hat. One second, guys. Anyways, that's the end for this episode. Um, yeah. So I got things I gotta do, but I'll be making more episodes of this. And I'll see you in the next episode. Retro on.